A lifting column is uh, a one package that has both a lifting mechanism and bearing supports uh, built into one. So you have a, a lifting mechanism with the actuator inside of it, and then also you have telescoping aluminum extrusions. And between those extrusions are uh, engineered polymer uh, bushings, which provide moment load support. So in one package, you have both your lift mechanism uh, and your moment load support for side to side. You'll see these things in two different areas. One would be for medical use. So you can see them in a, um, a medical bed, uh, uh, an x-ray table, uh, a dental chair, um, or in ergonomic lifts. So ergonomic lifts would be uh, a desk lift, a workstation, um, anything where you might have some different uh, assembly or, or require a, a, some adjustable lift. So in ergonomic applications, what's really good about these lifting columns is their extension to retraction ratio. So uh, you can, with the telescoping uh, extrusions and telescoping actuator inside the unit, you can go very low and then extend very high. Inside the actuator are what we call internal limit switches. So these limit switches are wired in series through the motor. So when the actuator hits the end of uh, stroke, it'll automatically turn itself off. It won't let you go uh, any farther and it won't cause any damage to uh, the motor or um, uh, the outside of the unit or anything like that. So the Thompson advantage is the, um, the extension to retraction ratio, the moment load capability, and then the ideal combination of noise and speed. VideoJet is an industry leader in manufacturing of continuous inkjet printers. And they came to us uh, looking to add some flexibility into their manufacturing cell. The point of the assembly line is to produce products that are safe to specification, to our quality levels, uh, on time when our customers need them. We had some makeshift carts that were fixed height, so they weren't very adjustable. The main reason we needed the lifting column was we had a Kaizen that incorporated several products to one line, what we term here as a mixed model cell. The other problem we had was we have different size operators, obviously, some tall people, some short people. So we had to have an assembly mechanism to accommodate all of that. We, we knew we needed an adjustable height system, something that would accommodate the various products and the various people. Every time we lift a product, we risk injury to people because these, these aren't light pieces of equipment. And it just it saves time and gives us a better product in the end because of the, the nature of the cart where we're able to adjust it, it helps us in test something that we didn't have before. It does everything they need to do. Operators before, sometimes they would sit, sometimes they would stand, depending on the carts. Today, with the cart being adjustable, they can do either. They, there's no complaints that way. Parts that we normally would have to put on a rack beside them now travel on the cart, so that makes things a lot easier. Everybody just loves the cart. So we're excited about the solutions that we're, we're bringing to VideoJet. You can see what they were doing out there before, and we've really made a lot of improvements uh, in tars, as far as throughput. The feedback we're getting is that the, the Thompson lifting columns are, are very easy to install. Uh, there's a simple four bolt pattern used to, to mount the actuators on either side. Uh, the internal limit switches make it uh, uh, very easy to operate and integrate into their machine. Um, and they're very pleased with the extension to retraction ratio and the combination of noise and speed that they get. So this is the mechanical portion of the actuator. So we have here a tube which holds this 25 millimeter diameter lead screw. And then what gives it the unit, its extension to retraction ratio, is we have this extra 12 millimeter lead screw that telescopes into that. So that's what gives it uh, the ideal extension to retraction ratio inside the unit. Now at the bottom of the tube, we have the wrap spring brake, and this will hold the load in a power off situation. So if the power is off, the workstation or the medical table bed is going to hold its position. And then down here is the, uh, the gearing for the, the belt gearing that goes into the motor. That's what actually drive the actuator. So what we have here is a sample desk lift that uses two LC1600 lifting columns synced together. These two actuators here uh, both come equipped with uh, encoders on the motor. Um, so once they're installed, uh, you can use a Thompson DCG controller uh, to sync them. And that's already pre-programmed so it's, it's very easy to have these things together. So we're looking at two five-gallon uh, jugs of water on one side of the unit, and you can see that uh, the units will hold their, uh, their synchronization uh, despite an offset load. 
So in terms of those, of those medical applications, these lifting columns would be used in a, uh, a patient bed, maybe an x-ray table, uh, some kind of scanning mechanism, where you can use uh, two units. The telescoping effects allows the, the bed to be lowered to a height level that's easy for the patient to uh, uh, get on the table. The lifting columns allow that to be raised so that the doctor can operate comfortably or, or perhaps used to um, meet the level of the machine for that, for that scanning mechanism. So the Thompson advantage is we've been able to capitalize on our experience with lead screw technology, with wrap and brake technology, sliding friction technology to create a pre-aligned package with easy installation and no maintenance.